Hello everyone, today I will be going through my experience setting up Sitecore with Docker containers and Next.js template. I will be following the steps through the guide provided from Sitecore. Uh, links will be in the description. First step would be making sure you have all the prerequisites for the installation. And after that, we're going to start from the top by installing the template running the .NET new command. There are two demo projects provided there. One is for ASP.NET and another one for Next.js. We want to select the Next.js template. Moving on, we want to stop the IIS services as well as any solar services running on your machine. Prepare a solution folder where you would like to install your new project. I'm naming my project Sitecore 10.2 Headless. You want to navigate to the correct directory using PowerShell and then run the command provided. You want to select yes on restoring all the .NET local tools for the solution. As well as yes to initializing the JSS project. This will pull and install all the required packages. Including the Docker images. As well as the JSS project. You will be asked for initializing the Next.js project. Uh, to provide the sitecore hostname. I have just selected the default one. Then you would have to select how you would like to fetch out the layout and dictionary data. You have the option of using GraphQL or REST. If you're planning on using Next.js in disconnected mode, you would have to use REST as GraphQL will only work in connected mode with Sitecore. Once JSS has been installed successfully, you would see some next steps on collect, uh, connecting your solution and uh, getting it running. But before that, we want to get our Docker containers up and running. The first step would be to run the initialize script 
in your solution directory where we will have to provide the path to the license XML as well as administrator password for logging into Sitecore. Once the initialize script has finished, we're going to move to the next step, which is to run the up.ps1 script. This will begin downloading all the required images, which should take a while. After some time, I run into my first error. The error was could not resolve host node.js.org. If you run into any similar issues where the script could not resolve a host of a certain name, you might need to go to your Docker desktop as seen on the video and add a DNS property into the settings and then resources, uh, sorry, it's settings then Docker engine and you need to change the configuration there by adding a DNS setting and array with uh, just one string and I believe this is Google's um, DNS IP You're going to apply the new configuration and restart Docker and then run the up script again. Well, did this did resolve my initial issue, I run into another one. This was unable to connect to remote server and for that I had to go back into Docker, settings and general and disable the v2 compose, v2 docker compose setting. I applied and restarted docker and ran the up script again which resolved that issue as well. After some time the identity server came up, but the script couldn't finish as I ran into yet another issue. Unexpected response from import server, unable to verify the first certificate. Now, this is an error that was actually described in the sitecore documentation. So I had to go into the certificate uh, folder, I will um, drop the path in the video description. It's a uh, user updater local MK cert. So I'm going to copy the path and set 
a environment variable to this path. Again, all of this will be in the video description, so you can just copy it from there. Then I have to go back to my solution folder and run the up script once again. Now e everything seems fine and we're not getting any other issues. Sitecore has installed correctly, so has the Node.js project. Here you can see the JSS items being deployed into Sitecore. And the CM server being opened on my browser. Okay, we can see the front end working with the welcome to Sitecore JSS page displaying correctly. Now we want to go into the content editor and check that the header services module is installed correctly and that the layout service is running as expected, returning all the JSON data of our pages. We can see the demo Next.js project under content has been synchronized. And if we go into system modules, you will see JavaScript services installed. And under settings and the services folder, there's an API key folder. This is our generic API key that we're going to use to fe fetch our JSON data through the layout service. If you go into your solution under source and then under rendering folder, this is where the JSS project is located. You want to navigate to this folder through PowerShell and run JSS start connected. This will run JSS in connected mode. And we're doing this to make sure everything is running as expected. Perfect. Now we can see our JSS site running on localhost via port 3000. And if we go back into system settings, services, and API keys, 
want to select the API key that's created and copy the item ID. Then we're going to test if the layout service is running correctly. And here, as we can see, we're getting all the JSON data of our website, JSS website. I will paste the link for that in the description as well. And that is it. You have Sitecore running within a Docker container with Next.js project installed.